Welcome to the Keep It Simple Astronomy channel. Today, Jupiter season again. We have the closest approach to Earth and the opposition of Jupiter planet right now. And in 59 years, we don't see nothing like this. I'm having a poor connection. I hope you are hearing fine. That's my only problem today. We have no wind, almost no wind. We have no clouds and no dust, so clear sky, almost clear to watch Jupiter. Today we will be using the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope, all the power here, outside, a big giant there to watch another giant in the sky, which is of course Jupiter. over an equatorial platform. I was going to place the 8 inch as I did two days ago, but I saw the wind was lower, lowering, 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 and I decided to risk and place the 12 inch outside. The forecast for the wind is starting to get hard at uh, about midnight, so it's uh, about two hours from now. Uh, also, I started today one hour earlier and I will be adjusting to this hour now as we entering in the in the fall. So let me see the shot. If you notice weird things in the connection, please tell me in the chat. Hello Rodriguez! Ray from Arizona! Too many clouds, say David. Yes, loads of people in the world are having clouds. Hopefully we don't... we will not have here. Hello Duchka, Quasar, Nathan, France from France, Bonsoir, Je vous aime à toutes les Français. California, Rodriguez. Today the big one, that's true. Today it's the 12 inch Dobsonian, it's outside. I focus it already, but I have to focus on Jupiter, not on the star. Yesterday I watched Jupiter using my first new but very old 12 inch Dobsonian. A 12 inch Dobsonian needs a telescope for life. Not only the 12 inch, the Dobsonian. That's the Dobsonian power. Dobsonian power. power. Hello, Carlos. Tunisia, welcome Tunisia. Beautiful country. Hedy Balma. Namibia, welcome. Greetings to Namibia, great people there. <laughs> oh, this will be interesting, this will be interesting tonight. So let's open SharpCap, which is the software we use to watch the sky. And for the new ones here, what we do here in the live streams is one, capture these great events like today, Jupiter approaching us and super bright in the sky. We watch asteroids, comets, eclipses. We will cover all the moon events until the end of the year. So if you want and like those kind of things, stay here with us. And then in the other nights, we do live streams watching real live objects in the sky, deep sky objects, not only planets like we, we are going to watch today, but also deep sky object, nebula, planetary nebula, galaxies, star clusters, everything. We cover everything here for the world and for the people with our Dobsonian telescopes, the telescope for the people. This is a channel for the people. 
So let's connect. The camera is at 294 from ZWO. I have also interesting things to share with you today for the people that used to come here but will be later in the streaming. Very interesting things because I talked with Robin from Sharp Cap to figure to understand because I like to understand what I'm doing and to understand what we are, were doing capturing Jupiter and we are doing today also. You will see. I was testing yesterday also a filter, the neodymium filter, Bader neodymium. Today I'm using the infrared cut from Bader, which is great. And I will not use the neodymium because my tests showed that are almost the same. I will talk about that later in the stream. And I'm using a 2x Barlow, which will magnify and place this telescope at a focal length not at f5 but doubles which means f10 and later in the night if the night is uh, propitious to that we may try the 4x today was the is a, a night good for the 4x not the other night some days ago it was uh, the thing it was too bad now let's open let's see how is the sky here i will now connect another camera with sharp cap which is the zwo 224 an all sky camera that will is pointing to the sky we will see jupiter very tiny this is to track the the clouds so let's see You will see also the telescope. Increase the gain. For you to see. You see? No clouds. This is light pollution from the city. I have a, a city right here. And th this is the, the direction is towards the ocean. We have a, a city, but it's okay. This is Jupiter here. You see this tiny and super bright circle here? This is Jupiter waiting for us. Hold on, Jupiter. We're going towards you. Okay, this will be minimized. We just want to track. This will be here. And now I will point, you will see me, you see the, the telescope is here. I will point to Jupiter. I will be capturing for the advanced users of uh, planetary imaging and astrophotography. I will be capturing today at a color space of RAW 8. The capture area will be with a region of interest to, be, to magnify it. And the output format will be SER files. I will explain later my decisions about this after talking with Robin. Okay, hold on. I'm going outside. I will start hope, which means I will point manually the big telescope I have out there to the sky. You watching here the top of the telescope, it has a tail rod. This is a tail rod and this is a finder. The finder is with the caps. I will not use it. I will just use the tail rod, which is great and I strongly recommend if you buy a Dobsonian telescope to buy immediately a tail rod, if possible with a telescope. Hold on.
Okay, you see with the tail rod, it's super easy to find objects in the sky. And especially planets. This is a white ball because the exposure is too high. I will lower it for us to see Jupiter very well. This is tracking with a, an equatorial platform. I'm playing with a gain of uh, the camera. Okay. Here he is. Let's zoom this. You see the scene is much better today. We are lucky today. We are lucky. Now I will focus this. And fortunately to the 12 inch I don't need to go outside to focus because I have this. This is a remote that I use. A simple remote like the television remotes. Infrared which allows me to connect to the, uh, an autofocuser which I installed, I have a video about that, which I installed an inexpensive autofocuser auto and I just click these buttons and it will focus so it's much more comfortable the, the work with this I don't need to, to use tricks now Wow, today is much better, much better. The only thing is that the great red spot of Jupiter, though that storm, giant storm, is not there, because it will be appearing only in about three hours from now. It's too late. I'm clicking the buttons of the remote and trying to figure the best position. This bumping is the wind, but it's soft. The 12 inch Topsonian is, is large, so it's very, very sensitive to the, to the wind. And I want this very well focused. Let's have a, a little bit of patience to focus this the best we can so we can then record just a second, a few seconds of Jupiter in a video and you will see with that video of those frames you will see the beauty of this exceptional and majestic planet that we have right now approaching to Earth and in opposition. Let me fine-tune this. A bit of patience. Patience pay, pay off in astronomy. I think this is the best we can do. And it's fine. We can see the bands. If it was the, uh, the red spot there, we could see. So this should be... Th there are two moons here to faint two moons should be Io and let me check let's see the moons we want to know what we are seeing so I will open a extraordinary application software that I have in my desktop which is Telerium and it's what we use usually in a desktop. I go here, I find Jupiter, Jupiter, I zoom and it will say the, the, the moons we are watching. So at the left we have Io, Europa, which will be explored very soon by us humans, Europa here, at the left Io, Europa, then at the left, uh, Ganymede and Callisto at the right. It's too far away. You see? This is what we are watching now.
So remember, the opposition of Jupiter means it happens every 13 months. So from today in 13 months, we will be here again to watch Jupiter opposition. The thing is, this year is very special because the opposition overlaps with the closer, closest approach of Jupiter to, to our planet, Earth. So it overlaps, it, it, it's like two events in one. And also, it's the closest opposition in 59 years. In the last live stream, two days ago, I started the live stream thinking that it was about 70 years. I know because why I did that mistake, because NASA, the first announce was talking about 70 years. But now they corrected to the real, uh, the, the real uh, time, it, it's 59 years. So 59 years ago, we have we had uh, an opposition or uh, approach to the Earth very similar to this one. It's very close to the Earth, Jupiter. So it's very interesting to know those things. Also, as the planet, as the planet Jupiter and the Earth don't make a perfect circle around the Sun, okay. That's why in, in the re the position real in the relation of the planet Earth of to Jupiter, it's closed now. That's why because it's not always the same. If it was a circle, it will be almost the same, always the same. But no, it's not a perfect circle around the Sun both around the sun of course so let's try a capture now a first capture and see what happened to capture start capture ah i will um, touch the color to give a, a more net ma more natural color so i go here and i will increase take off a bit of of green to see what happened because I want you to watch better the better I can you see the color is better now let me just see the shed thank you Quasar Yes, the ones that are here, 117 people watching Jupiter with us all together, please give a like, it's free. And it helps to spread this view of this beautiful planet all over the world. Hello Alex. The majestic Jupiter, king of the kings. Did you know that Jupiter helped us to have water on Earth? I'm sorry about that, but don't worry. That's why we are here. For everybody to see Jupiter live. This is live. Hello, once again, we talked already. Good evening. Toronto, Canada. I can't wait to see how Jupiter looks through the 12-inch Dobsonian. We have rainy skies here tonight, so no sing for our little 150p. Don't worry. Jupiter, for the ones that have telescopes, Jupiter will still be bright for, for a long time now. You, you will have plenty of time to watch Jupiter. Nice people all over the, all over the world. <clears throat> I, I told you, this will be interesting tonight. 
<laughs> and remember when you told me one month ago, watch Jupiter, watch Jupiter, hold on, it will pay off, and it will. Phil, what filter are you using? I'm using an infrared cut filter from Bader. I'm watching from Portugal, Algarve, Portugal, in the south of Europe. The latitude is 37. Greetings to Iraq. Look how big is it. Look. Look at, uh, at this planet, this giant. Spot on, Quasar. Jupiter won't be so close to Earth in 59 years. Yes, you can. Not like this, but you can watch Jupiter in open eye. You will watch it like this. Look. You see the sky out there? You see this huge... It's tiny here, but you look at the sky, it's a huge circle shape bright super bright it's the brightest object in the sky right now and remember we are the new moon was yesterday so today we have only one percent of moon of crescent moon so we are fine Yes, Manuel, from Portugal, Algarve. But that doesn't matter. As I used to say, we are all humans. We are from all over the world, from one planet, the planet Earth. It doesn't matter where you come from or where you are. Your skin, your eyes, your defects, that doesn't matter, nothing. What matters is the connection you have with me today with the sky. I will recenter this planet. I was expecting a bit. I was waiting a bit to watch the movement because the telescope is too 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 fast. I will have to lower the speed to have a decent night. Hold on. Remember, good people from the world, we stream usually on Saturdays, it depends on the weather. So let's start this. First, region of interest for the advanced users. Basically what we are going to do is tell the camera to catch only Jupiter and magnify it. Lower the resolution, bam! Now, let's recenter this. Start capture. Oops.
I think it was unlimited. But I don't know. We'll see. 1000 frames. What the camera is doing now is capturing very, very fast pictures of Jupiter. So, look at the wind. I will stop this because the wind will mess this and I will record again. Okay, hold on. Let's recenter a bit. Not number of frames. Unlimited. Start. We don't want the wind to mess this image. So the camera is taking at a very fast rate at 1.19 milliseconds, not seconds, milliseconds. It's recording a video wheel with all those pictures together. And then we pick that video, video file and we post process it in different softwares. You will see it will be fast and it will bring us a beautiful image of the Jupiter how it is now because what you are seeing this grainy image that we always happen over Jupiter it's because of the scene the scene means the transparency and the turbulence of the sky it's not the darkness the darkness is other thing it's the, the transparency and the, the atmosphere turbulence. So 4000 it's moving. I will readjust with the region of interest. The moons probably will not be captured. I don't know. I said that in the last live stream and they were. It was a, a, an excellent night with a great red spot of Jupiter. So it's still capturing almost 7000 frames. I will stop at 10,000. I don't want more than that. Furthermore, you will wait more for the process if, uh, if um, it takes long, if, um, if there are too many frames. 8000. And this at the left, Io and Ganymede. No, Io and Europa at the left. You're scared why? It's so dark, it's good to be in the dark, to watch the sky. Don't fear the sky. 10,000, 11,000, stop this. Yes, you can. With a telescope. If you use your phone, you will capture a very a super bright image. Good question. Does anyone know when the next closest approach like this will happen in the future? Will this be in another 59 years or does it work differently? Thank you. I think it will be in 126 or 24 years, but I'm not sure. Let me change this again because this was too magnified for the video for the video I captured it already the video you will see in a moment what we can do with that We are using a 2x Barlow. 
Actually, it's a... From Explored Scientific. It's very nice. That's how it is. I'm sorry for that, but it's like nature works. Sometimes here I have clouds also. But the beauty of the beauty of it is with the Dobsonian. I think a week ago or more, maybe more, I live streamed. We captured Jupiter within the clouds. It's the Dobsonian power, the power of the Dobsonian telescope. Dobsonian power. Yes, it looks better today, Antonio Cortes. Maybe. It's the brightest, the brightest object in the sky right now. Look, I have a camera pointed to the sky. You see the telescope down here? Jupiter is here. You should see something like this. It's super bright. Look at um, east. It's at east. Look at towards east. It will be there. East, southeast. You are all with clouds. Hello, Craig. Greetings to Bangor and a great kiss to your doctor from Portugal. It's good, I have a doctor too. And the sun. Mars should be more at the left. Uh, you wait. You wait a bit that probably you will see Jupiter. Just wait for the clouds to pass. That should, should pass. The clouds are always moving as the universe. The universe Everything is moving. Everything. Yes, Guillermo. Yes, I'm using the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope with a 2x Barlow. And a 294 ZWO camera. Remember, this is tracking. Of course, it's a poor tracking. You see that it drifts sometimes. It's what we have. We work with what we have. And I'm using this equatorial platform. It's made of steel. It's very strong to hang on the, the weight of the 12 inch Dobsonian, which is this telescope. This is the telescope that is outside. You see, a 12 inch Dobsonian from GSO, Guansheng Optical, from Taiwan. You're welcome, I love to do this and I love to be with you. Ah, <laughs> yes, I knew it was Kevin. I think the next time will be in 21, 29, what I read. Yes, I, I remember the number was 2120 something. Maybe 29, maybe. So it's, it's a, an epic event today. It's unique. You will remember this, especially the young kids that are watching with you. If you have kids, they will remember this for life. Mine are already sleeping, but they watch another time. You see the wind is, ma is making the, um, this 
movement. The wind is supposed to, to be worse, that's why I wanted to capture a video right at the beginning. We have it now. I like to watch the chat, I'm watching the chat and tracking Jupiter because I like to, uh, to talk with you. This is for you, this channel is for the people. This is mm, only for you. And if possible for you to learn something. If you want to buy a telescope, a Dobsonian. South Africa, greetings, Sandra. That's a Portuguese name, Sandra, also. Yes, you can. You can see Jupiter with binoculars. Actually, it was somebody here that was doing that. Alex, how are you? Hopefully, I'll be imaging Jupiter soon. Next month, I will get the C11 and I promise you I will post. My latitude is 44.9. Imagine through SV Boni 305. Should be good. Yes, you will be fine. The C11 is a, a nice telescope for planets. The 12 inch ray, how are you? The 12 inch, it's at the focal length, it, it's uh, the double. So it has uh, 1500, now it's at uh, 3000. So instead of F5, it's at F10. When I, we used the 4X from Teleview, the barrel from Teleview, it was even more. It was at uh, 6000 millimeters. So at uh, F20. But that F20 with uh, such a magnification, with that poor thing, it's no, it's no good. That's why we couldn't catch a great, great, great detailed image. But it was great, anyway. Yes, you can. You see? Another one with binoculars. James, peace. Great job, I was using binoculars and managed to see two moons from Marbella, Spain. Lovely Marbella, Andalusia. Hey Crypto, you're welcome. I'm going to use your tutorial to see Jupiter tonight on my Dobsonian telescope. Good luck, good luck. It's epic tonight. It's epic, but don't be sad about that, because you will have great opportunities. Actually, two days ago, the live stream I, I did two days ago, it was much better, because even with clouds, we managed to capture the great red spot of Jupiter. That huge storm Jupiter has. Look at the wind. The wind is coming. Don't be sad. Don't be sad about that. You have plenty of time to watch Jupiter very bright in the sky. And today you can see, you, I watch Jupiter. You see the detail that you are getting here. You don't have it in, uh, with binoculars and uh, naked eye. So you're fortunate. You are lucky. And me too. To have you here. And Jupiter. Don't be mad about the clouds. It's nature. Nature is good. <laughs> Hello Linux Astro, welcome back. Hello Iowa. John Ramsey. Brazil. Hey galera, beleza? Don't be sad about not 
looking at Jupiter because you are watching right now. And you have twice to watch it. You are fortunate, as I am. Algarve, my neighbor. Michel Pinheiro. Johannesburg, South Africa, greetings for South Africa. Yes, you have light, of course. But here we are at South of Europe. It's um, almost 11 p.m. Usually, <clears throat> James, can you capture the moons? Usually, no. Usually, we can't. But in the other live stream, I was surprised. I will show you the, the image. We captured it the, the two days ago with the red spot. We were watching Jupiter like, like we are now, but with clouds. And at the end, Unexpectedly, we capture the moons. Look, you see? This is Europa at the, the right and Ganymede at the left. And the red spot at the middle. This was with a, a lower aperture telescope with an 8 inch Dobsonian. If you have an 8 inch Dobsonian or are thinking in buying one, this is what you can expect on the Bortle 5 sky, which means it's my sky in a matter of brightness and uh, in a matter of darkness, I'm sorry. It's at the, at the middle of the range. We have a, light a soft light pollution in my house. So we are at Bortle 5. We are not very good, uh, but not very bad also. We can't complain here. So this was with the moons. I think, I suspect, but I'm not sure about that. I need to confirm this. I suspect this was because this closer approach to Earth overlapping with the opposition of Jupiter and no moon. I suspect that was because of that that we captured the moons two days ago. However, I don't know if these two moons will be captured. We'll see. We'll see in a moment. No, it will not. <laughs> I'm scared that it will hit the world. No, it will not. It will not. It will not hit the, the world. We are safe. Well, we are safe against Jupiter. East. It's at east. Spot on. No, he can't. Bruno, always be positive. Always. We never know. Yes, it is coming straight to us, but it it's now it's turning around again. Actually, I think the, um, the closest, the peak of the closest approach, it's passed, it passed already. So don't worry. It's getting now further away. Like the comets. <laughs> Nine millimeters from Explore Scientific, 100 degrees. It's I love this eyepiece. It's not the best one, but it's almost, it's always not the expensive one, the most expensive one. It's a good eyepiece.
Nobody can see Jupiter. You are watching here. Yes, Pedro, I'm Portuguese. Of course, the Dobsonian power. Dobsonian power. Thanks, Quasar, to remember. No, <laughs> the other evening the wind was... You know, I was going to place the 18-inch outside again. But I saw the wind getting softer. And I decided to place all my artillery. The power of the Dobsonian out there, the 12-inch. But it's dancing a bit. George, what are you using? I'm using the 12-inch Dobsonian, for the people that don't know. I'm using, outside it's the 12-inch Dobsonian. Actually, you can see it here. You see at the bottom? Hold on. You see here? The top of the... It's pointing to Jupiter. That is here. It's pointing right here to Jupiter. This is Jupiter. At east. It's pointing east. And we are watching live. This is live. This is no... No video. This is live. Great. Great, great, great. Faith. I'm on the roof watching. Great. I love to watch the sky. In a moment we will process this. We will do a fast processment for you to see the image more detailed without the, all this atmosphere turbulence that we have with the wind and everything thanks Linux thank you for watching and to to be here with us if something happens we are all here <laughs> we have no escape We will be streaming live for Earth and uh, the universe. Who knows? Who knows who's watching us? Yes, it's much better today. And it's because it's bouncing because uh, it's the 12 inch. It's a giant. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're right. Let me place uh, the right one. For the people that enter, know immediately what we are using to capture Jupiter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, gentlemen. You're always nice to us. Hello, Malta! Buonasera! Hello, Czech Republic! Tom, I can see it outside, but I have no telescope or anything. You have two eyes to watch the, the sky. Some of you, us humans don't have even that. Don't They are blind. So, use those two eyes, as I did all my life, to watch the sky. Sometimes it's the best way to connect with the sky, with no telescope. So don't be sad about that. The SER file is uh, like the AV file, but it's in another format. It's a video file that I'm using. And um, it 
it grabs, I think, more, more information, a bit more of information. It works better with uh, AutoStacker, which is one of the softwares we are, we are going to use. I think, like this, I will place it directly in AutoStacker. South Africa! Many people from South Africa today. I said in the beginning of the stream, this will be interesting today. Turkey! Hello, greetings! Hello, Anna, from my country, Portugal! It's not a star! A question. There was a blinking star every 19 seconds. What was it? Moleia, if you are referring to this, this is not a star. This, these are the two of the, the four Galilean moons of Jupiter. The one at the right is Europa, and the one at the left is... Um, is... Um, I forgot. Let me check. I forgot because I'm mixing with the other night in my brain. Let's see. We open Stellarium. We go to Jupiter. This is the sky here. Jupiter. It's I.O. at the right and Europa at the left. They are blinking because... I can't... Uh, if I... If I... Tell the software and the camera to focus on the moons... They will be brighter, but it will... Turn the... Jupiter extremely bright, super exposed, you see? Look! You see? Now the moons are brighter. They are blinking because of the seeing. But Jupiter, it's too bright. We have to watch it like this, with a lower exposure. This is what we call in the camera. Yes. What I said to now, right now. And we, we can see also... Hold on. Here is Ganymede at the left, here, but we see it bad because of the scene. The scene is not perfect. It's not good. It's, it's better than the other day. And here at the right, this is Callisto, but we, we see very bad, and especially because I lower it, the exposure time. Watch better Jupiter. You're welcome. Exactly that. It's exactly that. Jupiter's opposition, like today, happens every 30 months, but not as close as today or on 2,129 as well. That's it. The two events overlap. Dublin, Ireland. Great country. I will translate because I don't speak Portuguese, I only speak uh, English here. I speak Portuguese, of course I'm Portuguese. Uh, good evening, we, w we went to watch it at the beach, Fan fantastic. So Claudia from Brazil, I think it was uh, watching Jupiter at the beach. That's it, Rose. That's what I, I was saying. People uh, often forget that just the fact that we have two eyes, we have vision to watch 
anything, not just Jupiter. It's a bless. So we can see Jupiter here. Don't be sad. It, it's a, in a good way. Better than when you can't watch. And you can uh, see it here with us. Yes, I'm Portuguese. Hello, Anna from Canarias. Hello, Greece. Historic country. Zambia. It's the first one that we have here from Zambia. Hello, Paul. Greetings for all your, your friends and family in Zambia. Yes, <laughs> I'm your last chance. The last chance to watch Jupiter in the closest approach to Earth and also at the position brightest in the sky. It's today and you, I am your last chance to watch it. Oh, uh, fortunately. Poland can see, Germany can see. <laughs> For those of you with clouds, it's okay. The folks on Jupiter can't see us either. They have clouds too. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. Who knows? <laughs> no, no. Jupiter, no. But who knows in other places? Jupiter adopt. Jupiter protects Earth, true. In Zambia, only something bright in the sky, like a big star. It is like a big star. Look, I have a camera pointing to the sky. This is Jupiter here. You see? It's like a, a big bright star. But if you notice, or if you don't know, you try to... If you know where East is, you look east at the sky, for the people that don't know, and look for the brightest object in the sky. It will be Jupiter. Today, Jupiter is king, the king of the sky. Tonight. Rainy all day in Germany. Yes, Germany is at the north. It's In Lisbon, Patricia can't see it. You come to Algarve, to the south. South of Portugal, Algarve, south of Europe, Europe. Congratulations, you saw Jupiter on your telescope. You're a lucky, a lucky one, also. It's true. I was able to borrow a 5mm Silistron eyepiece and look at Jupiter from a dark side through my 8-inch Dobsonian. I felt blinded by how bright it was. Almost like looking at our moon. That's exactly that. It's so bright. Y uh, yesterday I was watching and, and two days uh, before. I was watching with a telescope with an eyepiece. Because I love to watch with an eyepiece. And I will do that after this again. And I've noticed that it's so bright. So bright. Focus. Explore Scientific and Televu produces the best ones. Is referring to the eyepieces. Televu are better. Televu are the best. But Explore Scientific, it's the one I have, the 9mm. I have just three eyepieces. And it's enough. Three eyepieces uh, for these Dobsonians. I have... Uh, these are two inches. We all love it. That's why we are here. This is hot. 
let me lower the air conditioner. We all love the space, the universe. Sometimes you are watching the sky, even with all your only your own eyes only. Don't you feel attracted to the universe? Don't you feel the attraction to the sky, to the objects? Binoculars, that's great. It helps. Just, did you ever try the simple windscreen like you might use on the beach? Yes. Actually, there was a time that I had uh, everything with tarps, everything, but the wind here, because I'm at the top, at uh, the roof, this is my observatory, and it's an open space with too much wind. And uh, it, it didn't work. It works if it's a breeze, but it's, it's a mess. I'm waiting for a project to be approved to build a, a wall, uh, an higher wall. But unfortunately, it takes time, those things takes time. Yes, I'm having because it's not uh, too much wind today, Linux. That's why the Dobsonian is... But it's bouncing, you see? Still bouncing. Patrice, I don't speak Portuguese here. I, I speak English because it's universal English language, the language of this channel to uh, spread all over the world. And if I speak uh, other languages, some people that are here will not understand. At naked eye, you can, can't see the moons. You can see the moons, the four Galilean, at least. Four Galilean moons, Io, Callisto, Ganymede and Europa, from a telescope. Even a small one. Hey Mazif, welcome back! <laughs> we are you we were waiting for you. <laughs> Serbia Good evening Morocco You are near me, you are after the ocean. We are separated by the ocean only. Please don't send me dust from the desert. When the, 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 the desert sends the dust here... Palestine! Great greetings for, for Palestine! You are lucky to to be able to watch Jupiter. <laughs> Don't be sad, Emilio. It's like that. You are watching Jupiter now in more detailed view of Jupiter. Don't be sad to, if you have clouds today. You are watching live. This is live. 100% live. This. If, some, if something happened to Jupiter, we will see. <laughs> uh, 
Açores, she's in Portugal. Portugal Islands. Uh, you sing is better than mine. But Açores, the weather in Açores is a, a bit weird. S strong winds there. Belarus, good evening. Alio, I'm using a ZWO 294MC color camera from ZWO, AZ. And for the people that don't know, the telescope, it is outside, it's this huge 12-inch Dobsonian telescope. The Dobsonian telescope, it's, in my opinion, the best telescopes in the world. You can do visual and also EAA and also astrophotography. I will have to readjust Jupiter outside. It's still... Uh, the platform is still with a speed, it's too high. Yes, it's on here. It's easy. Watch how easy it is to readjust manually, the readjust the Dobsonian. This is the wind. This is not me, this is the wind. Bouncing. I will have to reset the platform because it uh, take uh, it took already one hour. It's ending. That's because I use an equatorial platform, the Dobsonian. The Dobsonian is this, it's placed over an equatorial platform, which moves and tracks the sky. The only thing I did outside was, in a few seconds you saw, it was to click on the button to reset the platform and then point to Jupiter again, which is super easy to do. Let's zoom this to see if happens something to Jupiter it's there hello Andre observer if I skip some messages from the usual gang here the Dobsonian gang please be tolerant today we have we have the house full of people! <laughs> yes, you can! You can see it with your naked eyes But you will see it like this you see that my camera that is pointing to the sky you will see Jupiter like this in a moment I will process the, the video that I capture it and you will see a much better image of Jupiter the ZWO 294MC Ah, <laughs> this is. Meanwhile, I am wondering what your mini tower is, with the pointing top of your observation deck is. <laughs> this is a very old chimney, and at the top it has they used uh, in ancient times 
<laughs> they used to use the um, a wind. Uh, I don't know the name in English. This is to point to the wind direction. Um, it's a horse. This is only a chimney, but it's it's quiet now. Lithuania, greetings. It's true. We rock today. Finland. Finland is the country from our sponsor, AstroArt Finland. Where you can buy very nice telescopes and accessories for a good price and good shipping price for euro yes i can can you use the snapshot at the top of shark cup menu to save as seen to save as seen right here yes i can if i click here hold on this is the the wind is getting in trouble the the telescope snapshot and now it opens ah uh, okay 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 because it's saving in fits file and i will change this to png png it's an image snapshot png see it looks like this it's black and white because i'm watching in raw 8 it's not debayering doesn't matter because in a moment you will we will process the, the image I want to to track the the shot don't worry you are watching live now here Israel I knew it was Hebrew Hebrew Great people there also. Aha! Good point. Of course your telescope is outside, but are you sitting indoors with your computer? Or do you bring a laptop outside? If you sit inside, how does your ZWO camera connect to the computer? Very simple, with a cable. Just a new USB cable that I have connected it has three meters only because the telescope is right here and the other camera the all sky camera which is this one that it's pointing to the sky it's with another usb cable but that one has five meters length just that sometimes i use a, a shorter cable and i go outside but to the live stream no because i outside the the, the to the live stream is no good I can't uh, turn on the lights, I can't uh, use a good microphone. It's awful. Yes, I'm Portuguese. Yes, Anna, I'm having the, the same feeling. Watching Jupiter live together with people from all over the world. This is unique, this is the 21st century working. Now it's like that. We have the power of the Dobsonian to, to capture all these objects. Remember, people that are new here, that I stream usually at Saturdays. It, it depends on the, the weather. But uh, I do live streams. We watch in real time, absolutely in real time, every object in the sky, nebula, Planetary nebula, galaxies, star clusters, comets, asteroids, we do, we cover those events. We will start covering more the moon, the, the full moon. Because I like to be with you. And sometimes you have uh, so many clouds, now it, it will be worse, the, the, the weather. As we enter in, in we approach the, the winter. So at least you can have something to watch and uh, if you want to speak with us. 
I have a, a Geoptic Equatorial platform. It's this one. It's made of steel. It's not the cheapest one. It costs about uh, nowadays maybe around uh, 1,000 uh, bucks. But it's for life. And uh, I use this a lot. A lot. It's a good investment. Me too. Me too, because we don't know in the future what could happen. We just don't know. When will there be another planet event? Not so close now, as I, far as I remember. But don't worry, because I, I track all of those, all of that information. And any event, not only planets, asteroids, comets, bright comets, the most important, we will be here for you. Don't worry. You subscribe to the channel and pay attention. I always place uh, upload uh, videos, one video every Friday for the Dobsonian users and people that like telescopes. But the live streams e are to watch objects in real time and all the events so every time you watch uh, a notification from you see a notification from youtube of a live stream you come to to watch it and you'll be with us only good people here don't worry hello adam welcome back <laughs> Oh, don't be sad. You are watching it. Look, you are watching it. If you didn't have internet, you couldn't watch it. You are watching. You are connecting with us. We are all connected. Anna Patricia, do you take pictures to the sky usually? Can we see them somewhere? You can see it every Saturday. Not only the pictures, but in real time. But if you subscribe to the channel, you will be seeing more often. Because I, I upload videos taking pictures. Actually, next Friday you will see some of that. An interesting video. Florida, how the hurricanes. Hello from Florida, United States of America, waiting for the hurricane. It's your 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 life there. Florida is so nice and they but they have so many hurricanes. I don't know the name of the songs I'm using. I have a file and... Oh, I love it in, on the television. Danny! Hi, Mr. Portugal! <laughs> Big shout out for you! Thank you for bringing this to on my television! Greets from Holland! I love to watch YouTube on television. I stopped watching about a, a, a long time. For a long time that I don't watch almost television. I only watch YouTube on television. It's the best thing. Of course, I all, all, also watch Netflix and those stuff. But uh, YouTube on television. I love YouTube. And it's the future. YouTube is the future. Television is obsolete. YouTube gives power to the people. Hi, another one from Palestine. Hello, Palestine. It's white and shiny, yes. Yes, Mars, it's not so far away. 
We will cover it. I remember you. We watch it already live here in this channel. Pluto. Yes, we watch Pluto here and took a picture of it. You have all my live streams. My past live streams are on my channel on the playlist. We watch first Pluto, then we watch Neptune, Saturn, now Jupiter. After Jupiter, you will watch Uranus live here with different telescopes, not only with a 12 inch, different setups. And after that, we will watch Mars, our future home. One of them. Celebrating Jupiter opposition and closest approach to the Earth, the brightest object in the sky. Today, live from the Keep It Simple Astronomy Channel in the south of Europe at 37 latitude, Algarve region in a small country called Portugal, near Spain. Don't feel stressed about that. Faith, again. I feel so stress relieved right now. I never saw it. I feel special because it's once in a lifetime. You should feel special, but you should not stress about that. You are here with us. We are good people. Good people attract good people. Are you, uh, illustrator, are you using a filter? Sorry for the question. I just got a 10 inch dob and I'm new to the hobby. Congratulations, you chose the you chose the, the right hobby and the great telescope. A, te a, t a 10 inch, it's almost like this one, the 12 inch. It's a great, great telescope to watch the sky. Yes, I'm using a filter, but it's because I'm using a camera. I'm using an infrared and ultraviolet cut filter. It means that it cuts all those infrared uh, wavelengths that come to the camera that we humans can't see so that's a filter that it's important only for um, astrophotography and EAA what we are doing now EAA is electronically assisted astronomy which means watching the sky in real time with a camera with the help of the camera remember people that are old or have poor vision they don't have to be said anymore because they have EAA electronically assisted astronomy and with a telescope and a camera with tracking you can see almost everything in the sky it's amazing it opens the door to the universe The time in Portugal right now is half past 11 p.m. Malta, it's cloudy, uh, it's cloudy. Hello, it's blurry because of the seeing, it's always like this. Actually, today is a good day. It's... it's... Uh, it's not a, a perfect day, but it's a good day. What we do, and we will... This is the wind, you see? We will do in just a moment is to process this image. We are almost there. Okay. Mercury also. I have a video capturing Mercury in my in my channel. I capture Mercury 
when uh, Mercury is at eastern elongation, which means it's more, it's it's uh, better positioned to me. Dubai, greetings to Dubai, lovely country. Okay, let's do this. Let's process the image of Jupiter. I will try to do it directly to SharpCap. Now, a very important question. I talked with Robin and I confirmed what I expect. This is for the people, for the advanced users and for the people that usually participate in these live streams. That question about the color, the 50-50 color in EAA, the deep sky objects, I'm not doing that today. That question about the color, the 50-50 and that brings a greenish tint to all the objects. Robin said to me and confirmed to me that it's better to work with a camera like that because it gets the full power of the camera. It's too technical. The, the, uh, it's, uh, his his uh, answer is too technical, but it's uh, a summary of that. It's, it's too powerful to it's it's better to use 50 50 the color because and having that greenish tint and then after pre, pre, uh, post process the image with all the, all that power of the camera so i will be keep doing like that in the eaa sessions not the planetary imaging now about the file the color space he said to me that RAW8, uh, I knew that RAW8 it's um, faster, we get the frames faster to planetary imaging rather than RAW16. But actually I tried uh, with both and uh, it's the same uh, frame rate, uh, the capture. But I compared, I did loads of tests yesterday to make sure about that, to, to prove on the, on the, on the field. And uh, I like the the 8 inch, the 8 inch, the raw 8 uh, effect, and it's uh, very sharp the image and detailed, and also it will lower the weight of the file to be saved on the desktop to a, an, about an half. So it's important. Also, when we use the planet destabilization on sharp cap that we sh sometimes we use, we can use with raw 8, not with uh, raw 16. So I decided to. From now on, use RAW 8 uh, directly. Let's open AutoStacker. Let's process this huge giant planet. I will open the file that I saved, I recorded it at the beginning of the session. Here you can see the, the file, it's still, the, it captured all these pictures, you see? I'm moving this, this was the capture. It has all these pictures, now it, it, it will stack all the, those pictures. Planet, uh, analyze. It will analyze, there are 11,000 frames. So it may, it may take a bit of time. Marwani, Landa. What was the website with the sky map you used to find which satellites we were seeing? Now, this was not a... Um, a website this is a software a free software that you can download for free on internet but it's to use on a desktop it's called Stellarium I will open for you to see the name you search on Google download Stellarium and you go to Stellarium.org it will be pointing to that site it's the official site and you download it for free Okay, this is Stellarium. Stellarium, you see, right here, you can see, it's right here, Stellarium with double L. Okay, 
But if you are using a telephone, I suggest you, a smartphone, I suggest you to download for free, you write on the Google Play Store, Sky Safari. Sky Safari. Okay? It has a, a free version which is ex excellent for smartphones. And you can watch everything. Yes, yeah, Stellarium. It's a uh, thank you, Quasar. Let's see if this is already processed. Hold on. Mm. Yes, it's analyzed. Now I will place the points for the software to know. We can see it, w it was not very good. The green line here. So I will only stack. This is 25% here. I will only stack... Uh, 20% and drizzle but I will place the points 24 it will take a bit with 24 but it's okay stack now we will uh, wait you see only these frames here you see here are the best ones there are only a few but we can do it again if needed I don't see the thing better now, that's why. The thing is not great today, it's uh, true. But it's enough for have fun and a good picture. Yes, I'm filming it. I filmed already, I recorded it. You see, now it's processing. We just wait a bit. We just wait a bit and in a moment... I remember you that the community pictures, that uh, is a section that we used to do in the live streams. Uh, now that we are with the planets, we take more time with the process and so on. So we will delay. I have some pictures of you to show. Don't worry, I will show them, but uh, in another live stream with uh, more time to do it so we have the the for the new ones here we have a session it's called the community pictures where you can send me pictures by email and i show them to the world even don't worry if they are uh, bad or you think they are they don't they are not very good we just want to have fun and show our progress and later in the future you will watch this and will remember and, comp and compare the future, the, the pictures in the future from the pictures you are doing now. And you will be smiling about that. So you can send to my email. You have, uh, if you, you have to do it in the desktop. It's the about page of my channel. You go to my channel page, the Keep It Simple Astronomy. And then you go to the about page where it says uh, as a description about the channel. And then at the bottom, you have to click on and hide email and you send me an email it's, this is windy now so hold on that uh, we will be doing the we will be keep doing the community pictures of course this is for you for the people i asked to the people the last live stream with a Jupiter great red spot, that big red storm that Jupiter has. I asked at the beginning, I, I made a poll asking if Jupiter great red spot turns counterclockwise or clockwise. Some, some of you missed the, the answer. It's counterclockwise, we can see from the pictures. Yes, this is live view, spot on. You are watching live, live view through a 12 inch Dobsonian telescope, the best telescopes of the world, the Dobsonian telescopes. 
you are watching live, that's why it's a bit blurry. That's why we are processing it. With a telescope. Yes. You will see the details in a moment. Dobsonian power. power. It is the Dobsonian power in action every Saturday, if the weather allows, on this channel, the Keep It Simple Astronomy Channel, the channel of the Dobsonian power to the world and to the people. Let's see if it already. 63%. Now, this is stacking, it's the, the worst part, the worst part, it's stacking, they are, the software is stacking all the images I captured and it, they were more than 11,000, so loads of images, and then, because I have here, this is for the people that don't know and that like to process, here, I have checked double stack reference, this will take an, another stack, this is why it's double stack, at the end it will stack again, it will do, it will check these points, bam, bam, and then we, it will stack again. But I have like this because uh, it gets sharp, sharper. So we wait a bit more. Let's see if uh, I have to refocus. No, it was good. I can't do better than this. I can't do better than this because of the seam. I'm trying to refocus. This is the best I can do. The thing is worst now. I can see more uh, noise. One of, of the things that um, Robin from SharpCap said to me was uh, comparing the RAW 8 with the RAW 16 in planets, using that in to process planets, is that if I use the RAW 16, I will not take any benefit and I will just increase the noise. I don't know. I'm not sure about that, but I trust Robin. Any tips on how to improve my planetary images with my next star 4 SE? The atmosphere is good, but it is blurry after stacking. So that probably that has to be with your process. Way to do the, the way to do the things. Maybe you can try some tricks that I have. In, I have a video in planetary imaging, you go to my channel to the playlists tab and you search for planetary imaging and it has Jupiter and Saturn, all the steps. I do some things different than um, often people do. For instance, uh, I use PEEP, I'm not using today to be faster, but I use PEEP with uh, quality weight and uh, it makes already a pre-selection of the best images there and then in AutoStacker he, he does a better job. Of course here in the, in the live stream I cut all those steps that usually 
are good for the, the final image, but here. And then we use Registax, you will see in a moment. It's probably the problem is in your way to process the, to post process the, the image. Probably. Because the 4 SE uh, should, uh, should give you at least uh, a decent image. I don't know what camera are you using. If you are using a Barlow. Yes. Yes, for that, the quality of the image will indeed improve in a few minutes. Not the real image, the real-time image. It's the real image, but processing. It's processing. You see the image here? This software is processing. It's now in the second wave of stacking at 32%. It's not, it will not take too long. It's taking a bit because it's working with 11,000 frames. But as the thing is so poor, I had to, to capture. Let me see if the planet still centered. Probably not. Yes, I will have to readjust. And I will reset the platform again, just in case. You see how easy it is to deal with a Dobsonian telescope? Let's see... 54% We will wait for the 100 If I image Jupiter at this size It will be sharper The more you magnify That's also a thing that um, that you can do to solve that blur problem. You said, uh, just class, you said you were using a small gain. What would happen if you used even shorter exposures and use an higher gain? Will that increase detail? It's a question, if you lower the exposure, you, we want to lower the, the most uh, we can the, the exposures to get a faster rate, so more frames in the same time. But increasing too much the gain, if you, we lower the exposures too much, we have to increase the gain. Increasing too much the gain will increase also the noise. So we get a balance and that depends on your sky, on your setup. You get a balance when you choose the exposure and the gain. It's a balance. You have to, to play with the gain and the exposure and see what looks better. If you, in, if you lower, if, for instance, now I lower the exposure, I will lower. Bam, you see it's darker. I have to increase the gain. I increase the gain. But it's a bit more noisy. When I see that, I prefer to have a bit less of gain and a bit more of exposure. It's like that. You have to try it. But the gain increases the noise. Too much gain.
Yes, this will happen again in 195, uh, no, 129 years. So it's a, an epic event, it's a one in a life event. To watch Jupiter right now, as you are watching live in real time with these two moons here, small faint moons, in real time through this huge Dobsonian telescope that is outside the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope over this equatorial platform to track the sky okay only this connected to a camera a ZWO 294 MC color camera it's the thing the three things that we have to watch Jupiter like this this is a little bit blurry is always like this because this is a real-time image you see this is the wind it's bouncing because of the wind and the seeing affects the, the real time image maybe in the future the cameras will allow you, us to watch this with better detail right like this without having to process but we are processing now because I've recorded and it's finished I've recorded a video with 11,000 frames and with the help of the software we will get a better image now I will open Registax which is also a free software remember as long as you have a telescope with tracking and a camera sorry you can download these free softwares that I'm using And not only watch in real time like we are seeing now but also to take a, a good picture of it that also we are watching uh, we are doing it now now I will open in Registax hold on now the picture is now it's a bit better you see this is the a bit better it's it's blurry but it's not so grainy like this because these softwares which are free I remember you can download them from the internet okay now this other software will also help us to sharpen the image you see I have all the steps I will not explain everything right now because it takes much time but I have all the steps to do this to process uh, Jupiter and also Saturn it's similar in uh, in my channel in the playlist planetary imaging RGB balance to the color you see the image is getting better the gamma I will play with this also I like to play only with these things just to get it brighter unfortunately today we don't have at this time the red spot the great red spot and also we don't have any transit sometimes we have a transit of a moon between Jupiter and us on Earth and we can see the moon in transit and the shadow actually I did that two or three days ago I will show you for you to see how it looks a picture with a transit I think I have it here no it's not this one but this one it is you see I think this one is from uh, this says it's from last year this one the red spot you see what you can do with the imaging the red spot and three moons one at the, the left one at the right I don't remember which moons uh, they are and one here one here this is the shadow of the moon it seems like two moons but they are not it's the shadow of the moon in the planet in this moon 
with the sun gets the shadow here and the great red spot that we watched live two days ago I remember you that every Saturday in the Keep It Simple Astronomy channel we do live streams, we cover all the important events also we will cover the moon, the new moon, uh, the full moon events and every object in the sky in real time in real time, if you want to watch objects in real time you come to our live streams that's what we do here for the world, for the people now I think let me see if I can sharp a bit more I think I can push a bit more just a bit I can. I'm sharpening the image slowly. You do that slowly in your in your home. After getting the picture, you see it was blurry, but now it's sharp. It's sharper. Now do all for the software to apply everything, and now I save the image. And now we will open again the image in another free software which we have in Windows. It's a Photoshop Express. I try to do the things in an inexpensive way to help beginners to do the, the, the stuff. Because if we start using telescopes that cost all the setup $30,000 with cameras and filters and st stuff and then the softwares like Photoshop and PixInsight that uh, cost a subscription. A beginner that just want to get in EAA and astrophotography and just take some pictures, good pictures like this one will be pff, intimidated so I try here in this channel to do the best I can to help you to do astrophotography and EAA especially EAA that is watching in real time take some pictures, nice pictures without spending much money you see? <coughs> now, you, you, we can see the moons. Two moons here. And now... We can just tweak a bit. In the exposure, we see if we need. You play with it. You see, I like it bright because I'm watching in over internet and brighter it works better. For you to see better. You see? With only a telescope, I don't touch the color. I like to only to give a bit of saturation but not not change the colors I like the natural colors of the object then down here the details I don't know if I can sharpen a bit yes I can a bit just a bit we don't want to mess the image and that's it now I save
save this. And as far... And what I do is only this. I don't uh, use more, more stuff. This is all, all free stuff. And here it is. Our final image of Jupiter with two moons here, Io and Europa, with a 12 inch Dobsonian and a 2x spiral. I'm using a 2x spiral. If I used uh, 4x, it will magnify more, but it's overkilling for the scene that we have now. Of course, the scene change, the scene change along the night, but uh, I can see from here that is not uh, getting better because the wind is getting stronger, you see. Planet is here. Yes, this right now get an heritage 150p flex tube as a good first one. Right now I agree with you. Right now it's the best uh, telescope for beginners because it has it all. And also for advanced users to have in the collection to go on holidays or uh, during a, a weekend. Yes, it has go to. It's right this one that I have behind me. Look. It's this one, you see? Oh, it's wonderful. So small, this compact, this uh, it's flex tube. This will be more compacted, and you can travel with it anywhere. It's uh, an excellent first telescope. I discovered it because it was dead. It was completely dead. No reviews all over the internet about it. They were reviews about another telescope. This was uh, uh, that was without GoTo, but this one with GoTo, I was the first one. Except one Japanese guy that was in in YouTube with a modification he did in Japan, but it's all in Japanese and in English. No, nobody did a a review about it. I did it. And now you can see loads of reviews out there and Skywatcher woke up because as long as I did this, I received this from my great family sponsor, another family that I have, the Astro Art Finland. They send it to me and now uh, I do loads of stuff, stuff with it and you can see Jupiter and, and, and loads of, of uh, good pictures that you can take with it. Now we, they are... Uh, all out of out of stock why because of tiago that's the truth <laughs> and it takes very nice pictures look the six inch it's a six inch with go to these these pictures i i i have this just for a uh, not for a long time. Look. This was with that telescope. Look, Neptune. Hold on. Neptune. Neptune with um, the 6-inch I have here. This was with that telescope. Neptune. Andromeda. The um, Bubble Nebula. Fireworks Galaxy. Helix. Helix. Look at this one. Helix Nebula. Look at this one, 6 inch. So the Dobson and it's not for astrophotography. Come on, we are on the 21th century. Look, Jupiter with two moons here. Jupiter with a great red spot. 6 inch Virtuoso telescope, it's behind me. The first one, the first review on all over the internet. 
in English, in YouTube. See? Saturn. Saturn with a 6-inch Virtuoso. So this is a great Saturn with a 6-inch in another day. It was better, the scene. This is a great telescope. This is a Saturn Nebula. The planetary nebula. Very hard to get. Look, Trifid Nebula. 6-inch Virtuoso. See? Wizard. That's it, Quasar. Go to system, points the scope to the object that you want to see. Right now I'm using a classic Dobsonian over an equatorial platform to track the sky. If I had a go to Dobsonian, I could track the sky. Facts. Facts and images and videos worth more than words. <laughs> Have a good night. So thank you very much for being here. Remember, every Saturday we will try if the weather allow. We will try. I have a 8-inch Dobsonian, a 6-inch Dobsonian, a 12-inch Dobsonian and uh, a small refractor to watch the sky with you directly to the universe. Stay with us every Saturday and be happy. Thank you very much. Kisses. I love you all. Bye-bye. And video on Friday. Don't forget. Stay tuned.